What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and I know a lot of you guys have been keen for it. It is how to mirror your phone to an aftermarket head unit. Doesn't matter if it's an iPhone or an Android phone, this will work. Uh, I had a lot of, well, I had one or two people from certain stores say this will not work. <coughs> Jcart. <coughs> and they were wrong because I knew it was going to work uh, and I tested it and it works. So we got the Alpine ILX702D and the Pioneer DMHZ6350 uh, and the reason for that is one of those units, the Alpine unit, has a HDMI input and a lot of head units will have this, uh, especially in the Alpine and Kenwood range. And the other units have uh, even really, really basic units will most likely at the bare minimum have a reverse or front camera input via RCA and we can also utilize that for mirroring. Uh, note the picture doesn't look as clear, but mirroring nonetheless. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First up, we have the Alpine unit and we have an iPhone here. Now to mirror the iPhone to this unit, we have got this little adapter. Now I bought this from Apple, it's genuine. It's gonna set you back about 70 bucks. Lightning connector plugs into the back of the iPhone or the bottom of the iPhone rather. Then it's gonna give you a HDMI output. So for the Alpine unit and the Kenwood unit and any other unit that has a HDMI input, this is really nice and easy. We're gonna go iPhone with the lightning, HDMI, right, we're gonna plug that in. So you could run this into your glove box if you wanted to, something like that. And then we've got a HDMI cable, male end, at the back of this unit. Right here, there's a HDMI input. It also has an output as well, actually, so you can let your imagination run wild with that. We're gonna plug in our HDMI right there into the input. Uh, just be careful, this is just a very cheap $5 cable. Um, if you get a nice heavy duty expensive cable, they're usually pretty thick at the plug and it won't fit in the back of that unit, so keep that in mind. All right, once that is done, we go menu. Scroll over, oh, make a liar out of me. Let's unplug this, plug it back in, just on the phone side there. Now we've just had a new pop-up. And there you go. So you're gonna get sound output, video output, everything through HDMI, really nice and easy. You can see I'm using the phone here. That's all coming up on the screen. We'll get a closer look at that. Okay, so we can go YouTube, start playing something. Phone's gonna think it's AirPlay. And then there you go, that's YouTube. I did hear something about Netflix not working. I think it might just be in Australia or it might be across the globe, not sure. But if I log into my Netflix account, let's just play Netflix and Friends. Never mind. There you go, that works too. Probably heard this from the same guy at JCAR. Um, you're not going to hear any sound on this video because we've got no speakers connected to the unit. I've noticed it's very touchy. So if you can see it's dropping out there, it's sort of. I'll make a liar out of me now. Never mind. As I was doing this before, it was dropping out, but anyway. And there you have it. That's Netflix. If you've got any other apps, uh, some people have KO and all these other sport apps, they will work as well. But that is essentially it for the Alpine unit or any unit with a HDMI input. Very easy. We've just gone lightning, HDMI adapter with a HDMI cable directly to the unit and it works and it's great. For the units without HDMI, it's a little bit harder and we'll look at that right now. Boom, there we have the brand new unit from Pioneer. This is the 6350. Uh, and now to make this work, we have some extra parts, which we'll look at right now. To simplify this, guys, we've got the iPhone to lightning adapter to HDMI. Also has USB-C. And then we went HDMI directly into a HDMI head unit. That will work great. If you've got an Android phone, you can just get USB-C directly to HDMI. Uh, if there's an adapter, you can use that also. Either way, for a unit without HDMI input, you're gonna need something like this. This is very expensive for what it is. I think this is about a hundred bucks. Okay, and there it is there. So what that does is we go iPhone adapter HDMI, HDMI into this, and it converts the signal to composite or RCA. Then you can go ahead and get your three video cables, plug them into the input of your unit, and off to the races. Now, this thing does need power, so it comes with a little USB. On one end, you've got mini USB that plugs directly into the device. And on the other end, you've got normal USB. So you can plug that into an adapter in your car or you can hardwire that. A video in the top right hand corner on how to do that right now. It also comes with a 240 volt plug or you know, a plug that you can use at home. So same thing. On one end, we've got USB mini, mini USB. 
on the other end of plug. I'll go plug that in now. Okay, so now this has power. So we're going iPhone or Android phone to HDMI into the HDMI to composite converter. Literally just got an RCA from a reverse camera. So you don't need anything special. For audio, you'll need the other two as well, the audio, um, red and white. We're gonna go video, all right, easy. Don't worry about that, it's useless in this case. You can tape it up. And then on the other end, that's gonna go into the unit. So just like the Alpine unit, the back of this unit has its inputs and outputs. Now there's a lot going on here. So all the gray plugs on this unit are useless um, and same with any other unit that you have uh, for this case. They're outputs, so they're for amplifiers. We've got the rear, front, and subwoofer output. So anything that's an output, disregard. You've got a AUX in. So the sound input for this is 3.5. So here we go with another adapter. The audio on our converter is RCA. So you'll need to get a cable that has RCA on one end and a 3.5 millimeter jack on the other. Very common. People used to use these back in the day for AUX all the time, not these the plug. Uh, so you go ahead plug that in, plug your AUX in. So there's your sound. Then a few video inputs. So you've got a rear monitor out. It's another output we don't want. Second camera input. Perfect. And a reverse camera input. We're going to use the second camera input. Plug that in. Okay. If you're lucky, your unit's going to have an external monitor input basically. And it's going to have one, two, three, Three. So all of these as a female input on the unit itself. Okay, but either way, all you need is video and audio in. Once again, we're not doing audio because I don't have speakers connected. So now what we can do, open up the phone, go here, camera view. Boom. There we go again. Okay. And then what you'll have is when you're going into camera view, you're going to be AUX. So you're on AUX, AUX is playing, no worries. Press home, AUX is still playing. You can see right here it says AUX. So we've got whatever we're watching or listening to is playing through the, the car because it's on AUX. And we're going to go over while we're still listening to AUX. Come on. And we're going to hit camera view. Okay. So it's playing something. And you can watch. So let's just watch this. I'm going to get a close up for you. Uh, look, on the camera, it looks pretty good. But in real life, the HDMI input from the Alpine unit looked 10 times better. It's just because we're using this composite converter. So it's not ideal, but it's still pretty cool. All right guys, so just to go over the parts again, you've got your device, can be Apple or Android, doesn't matter. We need something, whether it's a cable or an adapter, from USB-C or Lightning to HDMI. So like I said, cable or adapter. Then you need your HDMI cable, which can either plug directly into your head unit, or if your head unit does not have a HDMI input, you're gonna go ahead and get one of these. It's a HDMI to composite converter. You can get a closer look at that right there. Uh, and this will also has the ability to be hardwired in the car so it doesn't just have to be plugged in at a plug like the one you have at home. And that is it. Uh, with the HDMI sound is just gonna work via the plug. With this, you're gonna need your video, left and right audio signal um, and plug them in. So you'd be better off getting a single video cable like that, a single video cable here, a left and right audio to a 3.5 millimeter jack. So that way, audio will work with any head unit, video will work with any head unit, win-win. Guys, that is it, that is how it works. I know a lot of you guys have been keen to see that. We finally got the video up. Now, I hope it all made sense. If anything doesn't make sense, drop a comment below and I can help out. Not the cheapest thing in the world to do, considering the HDMI to composite converter was fairly expensive. The genuine Apple cable is pretty expensive and it's going to set you back a couple of hundred dollars in the everything said and done. But it's cheaper than, you know, like an Apple CarPlay integration module or the other stuff we, we do. So, yeah, give and take. If it's something you want, do it. It's awesome. 
and yeah, like I said, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.